Well, let's challenge ourselves to write and solve an absolute value inequality. And we like to challenge ourselves because, you know, in order to do so, we may have to be persistent. We may have to use a little practice. I may have to use quite a bit of patience and then perseverance, too, because it's easy to just give up and walk away from word problems, as a lot of students do. But there, if we take our time, if we're patient, uh, we can do it. And if the more we practice at it, the better we're going to become. And the better we become, the higher scores we're probably going to get on something like an SAT. So let's see. Rachel is considering colleges to attend and determines that the average tuition of her choices is $3,725 per year. But the tuition at a school could differ by as much as $1,650 from the average. Write and solve an absolute value inequality to find the range of the tuition. Well, let's just start here saying, okay, what are we asked to do? Well, we're being asked to write and solve an absolute value inequality. And why? We want to find the range of the tuition. Now, she's been looking at some colleges, and she's gathered some tuition information, Rachel, that is. And we don't know if she's looking at five or ten or whatever she may be looking at, but she has averaged the tuition, and that average comes to $3,725. And then she has noticed that it might be, it differs, it deviates, as much as $1,650. In other words, some of the colleges that she's looking at might be $3,725 plus $1,650. And there may be another one she's looking at uh, that is $3,725 less $1,650, $1,650. And then there'll be schools in between that. And actually, this does set up nicely for an absolute value inequality. So let's go about that. Now, I probably need to assign a variable. And what am I dealing with? I'm dealing here with tuition. So why don't we say that T is our variable and it equals tuition. All right, so let's say I'm gonna draw an absolute value symbol. And so the tuition, the absolute value of the tuition, plus or minus, and the average is 3,725. And the difference can be as much as $1,650. Now, let's think about our inequality symbol. So I've got greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. And what inequality should we use to write this absolute value inequality? Well, we know the difference could be as much as $1,650, and it could be as little as $1,650 from the average. And so we would have then a less than or equal to. Well, there's our equation. And now we've got to solve it. Now, we know when we solve an absolute value equation, we're going to do a couple of things. One, so I say, K, I'm a one, I'm going to set up two cases. And in my first case, I got T minus 3725 is less than or equal to 1650. And then I'm going to have a second case. Where can I put that? I'm going to try to squeeze it in right down here. I'm going to have T minus 3725. And I know when I have to, when I set my second case for my absolute value inequality, I have to reverse or flip my inequality from a less than or equal to to a greater than or equal to. And then I have to take the 1650 and make it negative. One, six, five, zero. All right, so I think I got my two cases put together. So in my top case up here, 
I'm going to add 3,725 to both sides. And when I do, the tuition now is going to be less than or equal to, and this should establish the upper end of my range. Let me get my calculator. 3,725 plus 1,650. Well, that equals 5,375. And in my second equation here, I'm also going to add 3,725, but this time I'm adding it to negative $1,650, and we're subtracting. So I've got 3,725 minus 1,650, and that's 2,075. So T could be greater than or equal to 2, what did I say? 207. Five. So then our range, and if I wrote this in set builder notation, I could say that 2075 is going to be, that T is going to be greater than, oh, I wrote that wrong, didn't I? Like this. T could be greater than 2075, or it could be less than five three seven five i should say and and it's actually an and it's a compound inequality it's the intersection of the two solution sets and so there's our range tuition might be as low as 2075 it might be as high as 5375 now you might say mr williams why would i have to do all of that because if i look at this information i could just say well 3725 is the average and if i added 1650 dollars to that 1650 well that would be 5375 and if i subtracted it i'd get 2075 why would i want to do it like that here's why they told us to we had to write and solve an absolute value inequality. So we had to think about what we might would actually do, how we could express that, and what we might actually do naturally in another way. With math, many times there's more than one way to solve. But here's your number one tip. Follow your instructions. And part of our instructions was to write the absolute value inequality.